Hey everyone. All right. Are you having a tough time letting go and letting God? Yeah, I hear ya. Because I've been fighting it all day today. Everything from resentment, a little anger, frustration, to worry and anxiety, greed. Oh my gosh, what else? I mean, it's, it's obsessive, compulsive kind of thoughts. And I went to confession and I had a litany of things because I am just struggling to let it go. But every single time those emotions come, the anxiety, the fear, the resentment, the worry, I just stop in my tracks and I pull out my weapons and I say this, first, I let it go and I offer it to God. Lord Jesus, I offer this suffering of anxiety, worry, control, pride, resentment. Maybe you're being tempted out there. Maybe it's lust. Maybe it's sloth. Maybe you're just being lazy or gluttony and you're just ready to eat the house down. And, you know, it could be anything, anything that you're struggling with. Worry. And it's taking over your day and you can't get out of this feeling of helplessness, hopelessness. So stop, offer it to Jesus on the cross. Lord, I offer this Jesus to you on the cross as a suffering. And I pray and offer this for all of the people out there who do not have you as their peace, do not have you in their life to trust that your plan and your will will be done. And then, in the name of Jesus Christ, I renounce or I bind the spirit of fear, anxiety, worry, whatever it is, obsession, harassment, and I command you to go to the foot of the Holy Cross for Jesus Christ to pour his precious blood on you and to receive your sentence. And then, Lord, Father, please fill me with your blessings. Fill me with your love, your peace, your heart, your kindness. Please help me trust in you. Fill me to the brim with your peace and your joy. And then the next time it happens, do it again. Because here's the deal. Oh, by the way, don't forget to bind the spirits out loud. The evil that is permeating the world today cannot read your thoughts, but they can mess with your emotions and stir up your memory and the feelings. So all you have to do is say out loud in the name of Jesus Christ, who has all the power. And I'm telling you, you keep doing this over and over and over again until you feel that peace and you give it all to God. You let God take it and you made it meritorious for others in this world. You could even pray for people in your family. You could pray for yourself when you offer it up. Make all of it meritorious. I'm telling you, God is wonderful. And yes, I've battled this all day. I went to confession and I had a beautiful confession. And then while I was in mass, I was thinking about the blessings that I had. And then I'm like, well, what is the worst thing that can happen if this happens? Is this really the worst thing or is it just not what I want to happen? But in the end, it's better because it's God's will. So I sat in adoration and I gave it to him yet again. I just feel beautiful. And yeah, I'm sitting here in my car. It's a crazy 60 degree day Fahrenheit here where I live. I got my jacket on. I'm ready to go into the grocery store. And I just felt compelled to come to you and say, Letting it go and letting God take it is so freeing, so freeing. So use the tools that we have as Christians to renounce and bind the spirits. I highly recommend you get the book by Father Ripperger called Deliverance Prayers for the Laity. And that is available on Amazon. You can download it to your phone so it's with you at any time. I also have his actual hard copy book. Thank you to my friends at um, Our Sorrowful Mother's Ministry who gave me a hard copy. It's actually Blessed by Father Ripperger, Exorcism Blessed, which is beautiful. So that being said, you can cast these evil feelings and 
emotions that are fleeting if you pause and you go through all of the steps that I just reviewed. Rewind this puppy, save it to your phone if you want to go through it over and over again. But we have the weapons to bring that peace into our hearts and our lives and to live in the spirit and to eventually trust in God. Okay, I have people that are in the car next to me looking at, <laughs> they're looking at me like, what is that lady doing? So I feel kind of weird. I'm going to end this video now. And I love you all. Honestly, have a blessed, peaceful day. Let go and let God bring out your weapons and find the peace of the Lord and his joy and his love. Okay. Take care.